Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. We have this simple challenge before us here. If you look at the question, it appears to be very easy. And the many looking at this need say that um, we just have to take the uh, odd power of both sides. And if we do that, then you're going to have 256 as the value of x. But if you plug 256 into this place, it will not give you minus four. So how do we solve this math challenge here? So if you're new here, this is all I must TV and I remain Jake's animal. So let's go into today's solving and see how we can actually get the correct answer to uh, this challenge. Okay, so we take our solution. Now let's look at this question critically. Now the question says the fourth um, uh, root of x is equal to minus four. So we just have to rewrite this to give us here our x r to the power of one all over four. This is equal to minus four. Okay, so we have to rewrite this expression here. This expression could also be written as minus one times four separately, right? Then we now look at this minus one here and this four here. Four can be expressed as two to the power of two. Then what is minus one? We know that the square root of minus one is equal to what? Iota. So if it is equal to iota, the iota is a imaginary number, then if we decide to take the square of both sides, then this, this will leave. So we now have minus one is equal to what? Iota square. So we can bring this, uh, we can bring this iota square to take the place of minus one, and we write this as 2 to the power of a 2. So we now have this to be our 2 to the power of 2 there times our iota to the power of 2. Now record the law of indices. We say that if you have your a there times b r to the power of n, this is equal to your a to the power of n then times b to the power of n. Okay, so we can rewrite this in this format. And so this is going to give us here about 2 iota r to the power of 2. Easy. So let's bring our expression down here. So we have our x to the power of uh, 1 all over 4. So what do we do here now? Because we are looking for x, we have to take the fourth uh, power of both sides of the equation. So if we do that, it's going to give us, we take this to the fourth power, then we probably take this to the fourth power power. Again, if we recall the uh, law, we say that if you have your uh, m to the power of your a, then times b, this is equal to your m to the power of a, or bracket close, or to the power of b. Okay, so if we succumb to this law, then we can use this to multiply this, so this, this will leave the system. And we use this to find this, so we'll have our x is equal to 2i r to the power of 8. This is the value of our x that is by this equation. But what we could do is simply check to see if this actually will satisfy this original equation. So we want to do a simple check. What to put the whole of this value into this place? So we have our original equation is our the fourth root of our x equal to minus 4. So this is going to give us the fourth root of 2i r to the power of 8, this is equal to minus 4. Again, let's rewrite this. This will give us 2 iota r to the power of 8, r raised to the power of 1 all over 4. This is equal to minus 4. If we consider the um, law of indices where we can multiply this, so this and this will leave. So we now end up having 2 iota r to the power of 2, this is equal to minus 4. Again, if we use this to open up this, this is going to give us 2 to the power of 2, then times iota to the power of 2 is equal to minus 4. What is 2 to the power of 2? That is 4. So we have here 4, then times, again, from um, our establishment, we say that the square root of minus 1 is equal to iota. And when we square this, then this, this leaves. So minus 1 is equal to iota squared. 
So we cannot put in minus one here. So we have here minus one is equal to minus four. So minus one times four will give us what? Minus four is equal to minus four. So this shows that the answer x equal to two iota all to the power of eight satisfy the original equation. And again, if you uh, just decide to take the uh, fourth, and if you just decide to uh, raise this side to uh, the power of four and raise this to the power of four, that will just give you 256. And if you plug 256 into this system, it will not give you minus four. So this is the correct answer to solving this uh, simple challenge. So if you learned something from this video, however simple it may be, they give the video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed. This is Online Maths TV where we bring out math solutions all the time. Thanks for being there all the time. Bye. Until we see you in our next class, keep winning. And remember that Jigs does love you. Bye. For the now.